Hello guys and welcome to this new video. This video is for absolute beginners. In this tutorial I will show you how to set up the engine. First we search for the engine and then go to the official website. Next we go to the download section and then press on the red download button. We download the first version. For his download you need this unpacking software. It's free. Now select your language. I recommend to use English. After the download there is a file called Armory. Create a new folder and drag and drop the file into the new folder. After the unpacking of the file, we open the file and search for Blender. Now drag and drop it down or copy the Blender Launcher and paste it on the desktop on your computer. So we are done and now we can use the engine. Click anywhere to close the welcome tab. In Blender we can set up the windows like we want. We can use the mouse wheel to zoom. At the start we already have a few elements. A cube, a camera and a light source. We can select the elements with the left mouse button. If we press and hold the mouse wheel and then move the mouse, we can look around. If we select two element and then holding shift and select another object, we can select both or even more. On the top right corner of the 3D view, we have some options to use. For example to navigate the view. For saving our project we go to file and then save. I recommend to create a new empty folder with your project name and then save it in there. We select all elements and press X on your keyboard to delete these elements. If we want to create a element we have to go to the top and select add and then select objects or we can simply hold shift and the press A to open the elements tab.
For the ground we use the plain mesh. To scale the ground you have to press once the S key and then move with your mouse, to set up the size. If you are happy with the size then press enter or the left mouse button. If you press the right mouse button, then you cancel the action. You can use one of the editing tools on the left side. If you go over the icons of the editing tools with your mouse, then it will show you what you can do with this tool. You can also go to the properties tab and then to the object transform tab. Make sure that you have selected your object. If you go to the Renders tab you can see the play button for your Armory game. Press on the Armory play button or simply press F5 to play the game. So far this is our game. Go to the Outputs tab and change the resolution to 1280 and 720. New files was created by playing our game. I recommend you to save your game every 5 or 10 minutes. If the engine crashes and you didn't save it, then everything is lost. Now we create a sun this is our light source. Set up the sun like you want. Go with your mouse to the top right corner and then press and hold the left mouse button and drag it from right to left. Now click on the 3D view icon. Now you can see there is a material node and a logic node editor. In Armory you will work with these two. Select your ground and go to the Transforms tab at the bottom to Traits. Create a new trait and select node. At the Materials tab you see a Create Materials for your object.
Go to the physics tab and select rigid body. We don't need the rest here. Now turn dynamic off and select mesh collision box. If we want to make an object fall then we have to turn dynamic on and for this cube we use box because the cube has a box shape. I really hope I helped you with this video and please go to the comments and let me know if this helped you.